Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever the case may be, we are back and better than ever. We have a question here from the field, um, review D, paper two, and we'll take care of that. Thank you. Got that compressed so I can upload it to YouTube. Um, question number 10 and paper two so we can use our calculator. And I think we'll need it. All right. The following diagram shows two ships, A and B. Um, at noon, ship A was 15 kilometers due north of ship B. So here's ship A. And so it's noon right here, right at this point. And um, directly north of ship B, which is there. Um, ship A is moving south at 15 kilometers per hour. Okay. And ship B was moving east at 11 kilometers per hour. So directly north. Um, and it's moving uh, east this way. Find the distance between the two ships at 1300. Well, 1300 is one hour after noon. 13 minus 12 is one. Um, so this is really just a, a write down thing because if we start at noon, um, if ship A starts at noon and goes for one hour, it's going to go 15 kilometers. And they told us, already told us, that it was 15 kilometers due north. That's why there's this 15 here. So in one hour, A is going to be right there, okay? And B is moving at 11 kilometers due east, so it's going to be right here, 11. So they're going to be, uh, B is traveling perpendicular to the north-south paths. So clearly that answer is going to be 11, okay? Um, what about two hours later? Okay, so I'm going to draw another picture over here two hours later. And this is actually going to help us over here a little bit. Um, so after one hour, B, uh, let's see. Here's A. I'll say A sub 1 is right here. And let's just say B sub 1 is right here. And right now we know that this is 11. Okay, so that's at 1 o'clock at 1300. So at 1400, in one more hour, we'll ship A is going to go another 15 miles. And this is going to be at 2 o'clock, so the position at 2 o'clock. And ship B is going to keep going this way another 11 miles and be in this position, B2. Okay. And so here's the distance apart right here. We'll just call that D. And since this is uh, ship A is traveling, traveling due south and ship B is traveling due east, then we have a right angle, and this is very simple. We're just going to use the Pythagorean theorem where distance is equal to uh, equal to the square root of 15 squared plus um, 11 and 11 is 22, 22 squared. And so we'll go to our handy dandy calculator. Um, I think here we have one. Okay, so control square root, square root 15. Um, x squared plus 22 uh, squared, and that is equal to 26.6, approximately 26.6 miles. So that is approximately, or kilometers, sorry, 26.6 kilometers. Okay, so there we are. Um, so now let S of T be the distance between the ships T hours after noon for 0 less than or equal to T less than or equal to 4. Show that this is the distance between them. Okay, and this is where we're going to earn our paycheck a little bit here. Okay, so I am going to do another drawing right here to kind of express that so we know how to think about this. So again, this is A at noon. And then here is um, B at noon. Okay, same thing at noon. Okay, and so um, B, we have to think of this, I'm going to think of this as our origin, where B starts. Okay, and B is going this way at 11 uh, kilometers per hour, right? So um, after one hour, we have already seen that A is at what I'm calling the origin. It's at the starting place of B, and they are 11 miles apart. Okay, 
and then in another hour, here's another 15, so we have 15, then we have another 15, and then we have another 11. Here they are again. They're this far apart. And then another 15, so this is one hour, two hours, three hours, we have another 11. Okay. So I'm going to think of the, the um, think of this as the distance from the starting point of B. And I'm going to say that we're going to let B, um, I'm, uh, no, I'm going to let, how do I want to do this? I'm going to say that 11T equals distance of B from, we'll just go ahead and call that O, the origin. I'll go ahead and label this O. That's a horrible O, but we'll deal with it. Okay. Well, if that's the case, after um, at zero hours, A is at the origin, correct? Um, no, after one hour, I'm sorry. After one hour, ship A is at the origin. Well, what does that make it here? Okay, and what does it make it here? Because um, at two hours, A is 15 kilometers from the origin. And at zero hours, uh, A is 15 kilometers from the origin. And then here, it's another 15, so it's 30. So I have to think about that, okay? A is traveling at 15 kilometers per hour, right? So I'm going to let um, 15 times T minus 1 be... Um, and I'm going to put distance in quotes here of A from the origin, from O. Boy, that is the worst O ever. There we go. Oh, that rivals this one. Let's make that more circular. Okay, and why did I do T minus 1? Okay, well, let's think about this. Um, I'm, I'm trying to get a formula that's going to find the distance between these two ships at any time for zero, for zero and four hours, okay? Well, right here, at, at time zero, um, they are 15 kilometers apart, okay? And if I think of, a, uh, then, when t equals zero, it would be 15 times negative one, and that's a negative 15. But we can think about, since it's distance, we'll take the absolute value of it, and then we know they're 15 um, kilometers apart. And then here, if um, at t equals um, t equals one hour, right, then um, we're at the point zero, zero for ship A, and they're 11 kilometers apart. Now, how did I, um, the reason I can do that, this first zero thing, is this is a right triangle at time zero, and the distance would be the square root of negative 15 squared plus 11 squared, and of course you squared it's positive, so that works out, yes? And then we can think of this as the square root of zero squared plus the square root of 11 squared, and that would give me the 11 after one hour. And then at two hours, it's 15 uh, kilometers away from the origin, and at three hours, 15 times three minus one is 30. So two minus one is one, one times 15 is 15, that gives me this, okay? So it's all relative to the origin, okay? So if uh, then that means um, we, if these are the distances from the origin, then we can write that S of t using the Pythagorean theorem would be equal to the square root of 15 times t minus 1, the quantity squared, that's just one leg of the triangle, plus 11t the, um, squared, okay, which would equal, now I have two things here, so I can square each of them individually, so that would be the square root of 15 squared, times t minus 1 squared plus 121, 11 squared is 121, t squared. So then this would be the square root of 225 times t squared minus 2t plus 1 plus 121 uh, t squared, which is going to equal the square root 
of 225 t squared minus 2 times 225 is 450, 450 t, um, which is looking good. Bingo! Plus 225. Oops, 225 plus 121t squared. And guess what? You combine 225 and 121, and we get what they asked us to get, which is 346t squared uh, minus 450t plus 225. And there you go. So I think that's the hardest part of the problem. Okay? So now I'm going to sketch the graph of S of T, and I'm going to go ahead and get rid of some stuff here that we've done before. Where's my eraser? There it is. So I'm going to get rid of all this. Here, I'll just do this because I need some room. Okay, get rid of this nonsense. Boom. And we'll get rid of this. Okay, and then I'll redo S of T just to give me some room. So, S of T. Okay, so now for part C, sketch the graph of S of T. I'm just going to crank that on the calculator, right? So that square root of, I'm probably, I'm going to forget this, 346 T squared. Uh, where's my graph? There it is. I'm just going to do a brand new graph. It'll be easier. Okay, so it was square root 346 x squared, and I told you I'd forget, uh, minus 450x plus 225. Minus 450x plus 225. Booyah! And what's going on? Well, let's think about this now. We're going to have to change our scale because um, we were talking about being 15 kilometers away. So um, if I click and drag this, I'm going to start to see that um, right down here. Okay. Um, and if you're not sure what the scale is, you could just, you know, if, if uh, let's go back here. If t were equal to 0, then that would be equal to the square root of 225, which is 15. Okay. So you know it's going to start, start there at 15. And they only care about from 0 to 4. So let's go ahead and move, uh, control our destiny here. We're going to go to Window Zoom, Window Settings. They only want from 0 to 4, so that's what I'm going to give them. And I'm going to do a scale of 1. And so I'll do 0, and the min was 15. So maybe, um, I don't know, I'm going to go, um, let's see what 50 looks like and see if that gives me a good picture. And the scale, I'll make 5, and so we'll hit OK. All right, and it doesn't, I don't like that because it doesn't tell me what happens at the very end. So I'm going to make this Y scale maybe a little bigger. Let's make it 100 and see what it looks like. Okay, so there we go. So um, we have a, a parabola thing right here, yes. So I'm going to go ahead and sketch that. And we know at 0 it's equal to 15. Because um, if we let x equal 0, then y is equal to square root of 25, which is 15. So let's do a nice little sketch of that. Okay, so here we go. Um, so this is what, part C? So my sketch would look something like this. Okay, so we're going to do uh, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And then, I don't know, this was 15 maybe. And then let's go back and look and see about where we were at 4. If I go across here, that looks to be just above 50 or so. So, and then I, I'm no, noticing a minimum like right before 1 there where it bottoms out a bit. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but it needs to be kind of close. So if this is 15, then I don't know, this is about... Um, Let's say this is 50 or so. So it's going to look something like um, this. And we know it's a little above 50, so something like that. And that's good enough. Okay, so due to poor weather, the captain of ship A 
um, can only see another ship if they are less than eight kilometers apart. Okay. Explain why the captain cannot see the ship between noon and 1600. So they're saying that we cannot see the ship during this time period. Okay. Now this represents the distance, see, S of T, I guess I can put that up here. S of T is the y-axis, and this is T, so time and distance the two ships are apart. So these values here are the distance the ships are apart. So if they can never see the ship, then that means that they are never less than 8 kilometers apart. So the closest they would be right here is at the minimum. So let's find that minimum using our calculator. So menu, analyze graph, uh, minimum, lower bound left, right, and I get 0 0.65, 8.87. Okay, remember, the y-coordinate is um, the distance the two are apart. So I'm going to go back, and I'm just going to label that and say, you know, this is the point zero, um, eight point, what was it? My memory's horrible. Uh, eight, seven. Eight point eight, seven. Eight, seven. Okay. And so we have to explain it. We can say that... Uh, something like this. The minimum occurs at, um, oh, it's not zero. What's the matter with me? What was it? 0 0.65. So this is really, sorry, I don't know why it's so messy today. 0 0.65 at 0 0.65. 0.65, 8.87. So the ships are 8.87 kilometers apart at their closest distance. Closest distance. And I'm being pretty verbose here. 8.87 is greater than 8. And that is more than enough. And I mean, you could probably make that a li little bit more concise, but I think you get the picture because this is 1600. This is the minimum. This is the closest they ever are. And so that's how you would explain it. All right, sorry for the length. Hope you enjoyed it. We are out!